Let's start with our favorite black and white, the Oreo, and let me press it. Now, as human beings, we all have our soft spots and our hard spots emotionally. So does this Oreo physically. So now, let me press this Oreo. And as I press it, the soft cream layer in the middle starts deforming and oozing out. And as I press it even further and even harder, there comes a point when the cream cannot deform anymore and the biscuit on top and at the bottom takes all the pressure from my fingers and bends and it breaks. Now you must be wondering why is this guy pressing Oreos on stage, right? <laughs> exactly. So when we talk about structural materials, we read every day that there is this new material which is the future. This is going to revolutionize the world. But hey, seriously, the opa or the grandfather of all structural metals, steel or stahl, is still one of the cheapest metals to produce and obtain. So how about making steel stronger? So taking the concept of this Oreo, we can atomically design and add elements and with some thermomechanical treatments, those are the tricks of the trade, we can have something just like the Oreo. So in our steel, we can have the soft phase and our hard phases. And we make these phases really, really, really small. And then as we deform the steel or as we stretch the steel, we can engineer the soft phase to become harder as it deforms. And at a certain point, all the strain is transferred to the hard phase around it, just like the concept of the Oreo. This is the basic concept of the third generation of advanced high-strength steels. So why make steel stronger? The concept of global warming was made for and by the Chinese in order to hamper US production, was a statement made by Donald Trump. But <laughs> Seriously, if you go through credible websites like that of NASA, you get to know that the global CO2 levels are rising, the temperatures are going crazy everywhere, the ice caps are melting, the water level in the sea is rising, and so on and so forth. So making structural steel, like the crash structures in your car that you use every day to work, and making it even stronger and even more ductile, at a lower cost would result in using less material to actually do the same job, right? So when advanced high-strength steels actually get into your car, I cannot promise you that your lightweight cars will actually start flying around, but what I can promise you is when you're driving down the autobahn and then you press the pedal and you go full gas, you will go faster, but at a lower cost. Thank you so much.